So good afternoon everyone, I am Frederick John Bilgurnio, the last reporter of this group. In this last part, we will talk about the general education adaptation. So first and foremost, children with motor difficulties and disabilities need intervention with specialists such as physical and occupational therapies. So in previous lesson, you already know the rule of physical and occupational therapies. So these professionals are responsible for setting the goals in motor, primary development, planning, and mobility, as well as in providing teacher and other with information about the child's physical condition, limitation, and abilities. I it out in 2015. So this professional is now how to identify the plan to the children improvement because. They have a systematic achievement goals and uh, to understand them much better. That makes them more capable to appropriate the information to take other people such as the teachers that can easily aware what the learner needs throughout the day. Physical accessibility of the school and the classroom to children with motor difficulty disability is essential. Ramps and elevators for school with multiple levels to the of buildings is necessary, as well as the provision of culture. So providing such as structure and support the ensure of the children with motor with difficult or disability will be able to access as well as to move around the classroom safely. Not just around the classroom, but around the school safety and conveniently as well as. The type of accommodation and giving will also be relatively to the strength and abilities and difficulties of the children. So for children with development coordination or stereotypic movement disorder who struggle or is unable to write but has adequate articulation and language skills, he she may benefit from be given accommodation in a way to understand is demonstrated. For example, response. So the the teacher will say or discuss them rather than writing on the board or even in the paper. So some of the recommendation for the child with such a profile may include the following: first, assigning an adult or a peer to be described with accomplished with writing tasks may be an option because they are are unable or has difficult to write. They need someone to help so that they can answer the written task. The second one is being given pencil or grip and different size of diameter for pencil for those who poor fine control motor. So, so they have different kind of pencil or diameter in order them to write properly and comfortable them in writing. Sable 6.6% practical classroom accommodation for children with developmental coordination and movement disorder. Pilak and Misanya 2017 Beach 2010. So, table classroom accommodation for children with DCD and SMD. So, DCD is stands for Developmental Coordination Disorder, while the SMD is Stereotypic Movement Disorder. So, type of accommodation response. So, it's important that we have a response so that we can deliver to our children that they need to learn. So, description. So, we have here uh, a sign of a peer adult as scribe for note taking. So, th this will serve as guidance for infants. Use different size of graph eye paper and graph paper to align them. So, this so that this will easy for them to trace the lines to create a number. Try different writing tools and pencils. Uh, use a word processor computer. Use text-to-speech program, so like our phones, so we can use it for speech. We can use it also in type text. Uh, allow for oral recitation, text talking, uh, text taking to supplement writing tests. So we can use this one since they have difficulty in writing. Uh, provide alternate assessment methods, so we can use different kind of alternate assessment method as long as it advisable and prefer ball for to the situation seating so the seating or the location to where the learner with the disorder to be placed so description so we have allow for preferential seating near to the teacher so 
that the teacher can look the learner and observe right away and give what the learner need to know. And also, they can easily notice his or her immediately. Adjust chair and others high to maximize posture and stability. So, they they make the learner more comfortable to them to do not hard time or having more difficulty in chair and disc. Place a non-skid mat on the chair so the chair will not move easily and just it just stay. Uh, provide opportunity for movement breaks so this is for the learner's body will not get easily stiff or having pain so that they need to be comfortable and relax. Schedule so our schedule in them are not the same in the normal learner. So in description, we can give them extra time to complete test and writing assessment. So it is for them to not hurry and have more time to tax without hurry or procrastinating. Uh, provide extra time in change for physical education classes. So because they have difficulty to move and to walk so that they have need extra time to get ready and considering them that being taking a long time to prefer them to the class. Other things that is also needed to know is that photo, notes, and homework reminders for the child so that they can read the notes reminders right away without them taking notes. Next is allowed to take photos of notes and home remind, homework reminders just for them to reduce hassle and taking notes to them and have easy for them to use. Organizer also give advanced organizer before a lesson, lecture, and listen remove reading tasks so that they will be ready in just advance to the class. And lastly, send hands out via email so that they can have their own copy to the notes and lesson that being tackled. So that will be all to our topic for today and it's me again for John Bilogunio and I'm with Angelica Kate Duty and Miss Lorbel Hinlo. So thank you for listening and I hope that you learned something in our topic for today and thank you again. Peace.